Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Give It A Go. Today we're checking out Death Tide Survivors. It looks like another roguelike survivor game, arena survival, let's see. It's also again the demo version as you can see at the bottom left. Uh, so the talent tree is locked by the looks of it. Quests um, also locked, yeah. Library maybe? Yeah, library is open. And the outplay is very bare bones, but this seems to be like a, a Diablo-like uh, survivors game, so we'll see. Uh, welcome to Death Eye Survivors. Would you like to read a short tutorial on how to play? I think I already did, but uh, yeah, let's play casual. I'm trying the controller, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna learn that as we go on. Let's continue. Story mode, sure. Uh, choose an attunement. Okay, so these are modifiers. Decrease all spell cooldowns by 15%. That seems pretty nice if I know what the spells are. Decrease cooldown of dodge by 50%. That's really good. And increase drop chance of XP by 25%, also pretty nice. And then choose your starting spell. Uh, we've got Smite, a uh, bolt of light shoots to the nearest enemies, dealing average scale damage, inflicting retribution on enemies. Uh, is there a description of what retribution does? No. So we've got electric current, uh, hits any nearby enemies uh, in a current, dealing small scale damage and inflicting shock on hit enemies. Got holy water constantly pulsating an aura uh, of light around you, dealing small scale damage and inflicting retribution. Again with the retribution and sending uh, sends forth a hail of icicles in front of you. Okay, so let's see what how to play. What is retribution? Holy spells will mark an enemy healing you for a percentage of all damage done against it. Okay. Now I know. <laughs> so let's start with the basic. Skipper, smite, uh, act one, deadlands, start. Hopefully the controls with well, the controller works perfect. <laughs> or even decent. That should be nice also. We'll see. I usually don't mind playing with the keyboard, the mouse, uh, if it's games like this. But I have the controller plugged in, so why not? So this style already looks kind of amazing. Uh, it looks like Warcraft 3. <laughs> if any of you old guys, uh, old guys know what I'm talking about. Looks like the Arsal of Warcraft 3 or Neverwinter Nights, but scaled way back. Okay, so you have ascended to level 2. We've got Puttercast Icicle. Enchanted Armor increases armor 1 by level. Time Warp decreases cooldown of all spells by 5% per level. Does that count for my main spell also? That's the question. Let's take it. Because getting cooldown and your attacks is always pretty good. So far it seems like you don't really have to aim your spell. Let me quickly stand still and see. Yeah, you don't have to aim, so auto aim is nice. It moves really, really smoothly with the controller. That's always a good thing. It did say there's a dash. I think it's one of the triggers. Yeah, it was left trigger. Not the most normal one. I, I expect the right trigger, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got electric current, soul binder. It increases range of uh, your pick souls up one meter per level. At the moment, there's not a lot of drops, so uh, I'll see if it's uh, something useful. Let's get more retribution going. So yeah, the holy water does not do a lot of damage, but it does make them stink yellow. <laughs> so I think that's the the retribution part. Could you get that little purple purple orby? Love this art style, though. I have to continue mentioning this. It's so nostalgic. The old school games like that. Something about the main menu and the loading screens aspect ratio is completely wrong in my mind. I don't know what it is, but again, it reminds me of that old games. With uh, if you tried running any of those games on modern PCs, it looks like absolute crap. Uh, the aspect ratio is not right because they used to run on four by three screens, with the CRT screens, and in the modern sixteen by nine screens, it stretches them. And that's kind of how the, the intro screen looked and the main menu, but the game itself runs and looks perfect. Okay, so let's take some... Am I gonna go the boring way? No, I'm not gonna go boring. Let's take some uh, shock. Oh, it shocks uh, quite a few enemies around here. But again, also just low scale, scale damage. Might does a lot of damage itself though. It's nice. Got amplification, increased radius of all spells. Very good. I think it only affects uh, the one spell at the moment, but oh, I took some damage there. Okay, so the effects of me taking damage isn't visually uh, as indicative, but the sound effects are quite loud in my ear. That's the only reason I knew it. 
but let's upgrade my holy water. Again, I took some damage there. The hitbox didn't look like I took damage. There's no indication of blood or anything on the ground also for that. Another level of... Uh, ooh, summons electrons that orbit around you, dealing average skill damage and inflicting shock. Now let's increase my amplification. Let's buff the holy water. No, the the sand water is kind of a joking survivor, uh, Baba survivors, which is basically the holy water. But this thing so far, it's pretty damn strong. Electric current increased the amount of enemies hit by two, so now I'm gonna eat quite a few enemies. Yeah, look at that. I can sort of dodge through them. Oh, there goes the bats. Yeah. Easy bat skill. You can see my skills at the bottom. I do have a, a lot of potion I can use. I wonder how much it heals. Bigger increases health points by 20 per level. I'll focus on amplification. Sounds better to me. You can even choose to move slow. But as I said, this full focus on controller controls is really nice. Electric current, increase movement speed, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But now I'll, I'll focus, uh, as I said, on the DPS. I don't know how long this demo goes for, so might be a little gap. Might only be one area, which would be nice. It still means I can finish the area. So far, uh, I can only circle slowly around these guys. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Let's increase my holy water even further. And the cooldown is really quick now. Oh, there's a little boss there. Let's take the potion. Potion, right? Bumper. It heals almost nothing. So now I know. It is kind of a waste of time. Use the amount of enemy heat even further. Then I'm going to heat the entire screen. But there's an archer. And an enemy spearman. Kite me actually. <laughs> the intelligent. Would have sunk. Intelligent enemies in a survivor game. It's ridiculous. And they're not even bosses. Or they're like mini bosses. No, they're not even mini bosses because another one of these spear guys spawned and that guy dropped nothing special. Usually only have the mini bosses drop chests like this. There we go, what do we get? Even this little animation is nice. Okay, another potion and Souls can be used to form them. I think it is soul, so it's just experience. Let's upgrade my smite. I've neglected my main skill a little bit, so we can now actually attack these guys again. Oh, that was a little bit of a bug. The dash actually um, drew the guy, draw the guy with me. Holy water. Not even have to think about it. It's pulsing constantly now. And it's very, very good. Did say I'm supposed to heal from the retribution, but maybe I need something for that. There was a cooldown thing that I should have taken that actually. I just got so focused on the whole holy order. But now I'm playing the classic survivors. Just dodge. Full on dodge. Okay, so now we've got some new choices. I'm gonna take the, the speed upgrade. Only 5%. But it's decent. Phew. Got hit there. A little bit of a delayed hit. I've only got 50 HP left, but I do have a lot of potions, so there. Okay, so it deals 25. It's terrible, but could be worse again. It is uh, a heal you can pick when you want to use, so let's get some armor because I'm getting hit from nothing. There's a loot goblin. I see you little loot goblin. Classic Warcraft loot goblin that you had to hunt in Arena Survivors. He's got so much health though. Come here. 
Am I actually doing anything to him? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Took some damage there. Doing way too little damage there. There we go. Give me everything. You stole so much souls. So many souls from me. Now I can finally get my hands on it again. Okay, I'm gonna need the bigger just to survive a little bit now. There we go. Now I can focus on amplification. More radius. I kind of wish I picked up that uh, pick up radius thing now. Just so I can get a little bit more HP. Uh, not HP, XP. The thing is, so far the only way I've seen to heal is by potions. And you don't get a lot of potions. And there's even a cooldown on the potions now that I see it. Uh, let's take time off, decrease the cooldown. You can even control your dash which is such a nice little touch so you can dash through enemies yes you can snake through the enemies I do need to cool down uh, some yeah some cooldown on my uh, smite though because against the strong enemies this uh, holy water is not doing a lot and these guys are dangerous these little stronger boss guys. Oh, there's someone with an aura. Somewhat afraid. You, who are you? Who death, death aura around her. Is, is that gonna hurt me? My aura is bigger than yours though. I know it's not all about size, but in this case, it definitely is all about size. Increase my cooldown on this, just so I can snipe a little bit quicker. Could use some damage upgrade on it also. Or is this guy just this tanky? Is he a boss? No, it's, I'm still not at 10 minutes, so shouldn't be a boss. I'm still taking unnecessary damage from these guys. Uh, amplification, let's increase my radius even more, so can stand even further and attack that guy. There we go, come on. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, got hit by that arrow or whatever that thing shoots. Am I supposed to stand inside his aura to attack him? It doesn't look like he's losing any health. But the health bars in this, this game is a little bit dodgy. Let's take some more armor. I probably should have rerolled actually now that I think about it. Get something that's actually useful. So the cooldown of the dash is really nice. I know it's that uh, start thing that I chose. It uh, lowered the cooldown of the dash by 30%. That's a lot. I can almost dash all the time. Okay, so he is taking damage. Really, really slowly, but. Oh, does work. This this guys are are red. Why are they red? I really, really, really need some health right now. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Now some of these guys. Uh, what is already something I noticed? What this game really needs is a impact indicator to show when they hit me even if it's like a little shake in the screen or a little blood splatter or something just that i know that they hit me and not just have to listen to it because i'm not even wearing my headphones at the moment it's lying over on the table and i'm listening to her but that's not good enough indicator because visually looking at it it did not look to me that i got hit in a lot of these times a lot of these cases but apparently i did so yeah so Little one smite, pretty bad, but we're gonna go give it another go. And I want to play with another class also. So let's go Firestorm. Let's see what the. Whoa. Okay, so it doesn't eat pretty much anything, but I take it if you uh, overpower it a little, uh, level it up, and maybe increase its range. It can get uh, and frequency, it will get a little bit uh, 
strong. <laughs> and upgrade smite immediately then. Let's turn smite into something that you can actually use. Last time it didn't do that much. Mostly the, the holy water that did all the damage. But again, I can't help but mention how smooth this controls feel. <laughs> like, uh, and the dash, meow. so nice. There's no other uh, you know, survivor game that is quite controlled as good as this one. Uh, increase damage or decrease cooldown? Let's decrease the cooldown first. Let's see if I can get Smite to do a little bit of damage first. Would be nice. Although I'm already getting overwhelmed by skeletons that take two shots already. I see the beat, the hit, beatbox on that is a little bit questionable, but because he hit me, his animation started when I passed, but by the time he hit, I was gone already, and unfortunately, that still counts. But you might need to speed up the animation or just make that mess because or make them maybe attack beforehand i'm not sure exactly how they want to fix that but at the moment that is kind of a problem as i said because you, there's no visual indicator even and so it makes it feels pretty cheap when they hit you like that okay so we got our bible uh, representative in this game it's a uh, Lightning Orb, and it makes them think lightning, lightning or little lightning stinks in clouds. Let's do it on the bats. Now what does the shock do? I did not read it. If, it, if I go by other uh, similar type games, uh, it increases damage taken, perhaps? So I kind of want to take the electric current also, but let's make more projectiles for the fire bolts. Do like a little bit of focus. So I can take six weapons by the bottom, if I look at the bottom. One right trigger skill also. I don't know what that is yet, but it is something that is available. Oh, by you. I will take Soulbinder this time. Just increase the range a little bit. Wait a minute, it also has a cooldown, I think about it. So does it only suck in stuff at certain times? Oh, this is randomly spawns. Let me take out this archer. Uh, apparently I missed the spearman. Electron, yeah. Increase the projectiles and turn into proper Bible. They go by different speeds, or Did they get stopped. I think it was, yeah, they started like this, but they ended up in different places. I did not get hit there. I will fight you for that. <laughs> Decrease the firestorm cooldown, sure. I kind of want that cooldown ability right now. Just making it rain fire all the time would be nice. All these soul XP's are so far away, far apart, I should say. Well, by increase the range of picking up soul by one meter per level again, but why? Oh man, I'm looking at a completely different thing. Cooldown at the bottom is the electrodes that makes a lot more sense thank you okay so i'm already at four minutes the while Whoa. still got my potion left i might as well use it though because it only heals 25. dodge between these guys nice work Let's get some time up done. As I said, the cooldown, very important. So they count as separately 
uh, from the attacks. So can I only take six of them also? Which would be the same um, when compared to other survival -like games. I feel I level up a little slower than all the survival light games, but I'm not complaining about that. Radius would be nice also. Getting cooldown on fire would just be nice. Not even the smite. Okay. Going pretty good spot. The stupid spearman got me right in the butt. There's something here. The loot goblin. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I don't have the aura, so I'm not sure I'm gonna do all my damage against him. Loot goblin, you're gonna have to run straight into my firestorm, <laughs> please. Almost actually worked. A lot more difficult without that aura. So far, I haven't gotten any real uh, close, useful close spells except for that aura. I mean, the smite is pretty good also, but it attacks random enemies. Sometimes other enemies get in the way, so what can I do? I think this way. I don't even see it. Taking so much damage from this. Try and stop this greedy little goblin. Chest bear. That's fine. Just give me the goblin. Ah, oh, he's dead. Okay, so let's take fire storm. Let's take chest. Let's take smite. I think everything is done. Yeah, everything is done. <laughs> I like it that there's an option to rage quit. I'm going to do one more and I'm going to choose a different uh, character basically. So this is all locked, unfortunately, the roguelike element. Uh, well, not the roguelike, the, the progressive element is, is locked behind that. Let's choose my starting spell. I'm going to start this time with Holy Water. Maybe I should choose the Icicles. I haven't used them yet. Then I'm going to use the cooldown by 15%. It's not a lot. The dash seems a lot handier, but just for something different. So I th if I think, oh yeah, imagine this correctly, it's like a shotgun. So I thought, oh no, it's like a really, really bad shotgun. <laughs> a really, really bad shotgun. And it's only in front of me. So I actually have to aim. Which is even worse. Slow, inaccurate, self aiming shotguns. So this kill is bad. I regret all the decisions I made. Kinda appears as one extra enemy is pretty nice. Let's take it. Kinda wanted the, the cooldown one first, but I need to make it possible to survive. It's a little bit better already. But not a lot. Nice against clumps of enemies, but see now I have to, as I said, I have to stand still and wait for them. So immediately let's take this also. I just have something else to do damage. Why did it not, it took the movement. Okay, so controller. Uh, not as reliable as I thought, <laughs> in the menus at least. Same thing happened uh, with Time Survivors. So. Firestorm. Could focus on an all elemental build. All three elements. Got Fire, Ice and Lightning already. And I've got a pretty good cooldown from the start. Now, even this dash is not that slow. Look at that. This is how that should work. Not, I just finished recording another game right before this, and the, the cooldown of that was like 10 seconds. But the cooldown of the dash, 
That's absolutely horrendous. Makes you never want to use the dash. Because you just as you might need it. Uh, you have to wait. Okay. Collecting my little experience orbies. I love the little purple orbies. Very easy to see. Let's take the time warp. More cooldown, more good. Already looking pretty good for the icicles. Uh, the other stuff could still use some work. There goes the bats. Okay, so this time I will take the electric current. Thank you. Now I have fire, ice, and lightning. Oh, bats. Not rats, bats. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I think the stronger enemies are going to start spawning now. Let's get more firestorm going. I do wish the, the little fireballs on the ground sh uh, just stayed a little longer and made a little burning effect. Because at the moment, you have to be lucky for it to hit anything. Okay, let's just get time up, please. There we go. Not messed that up like earlier. You can already see the lightning. Lightning is really, really quick. Rest of the stuff, not as much, especially the fire. Look pretty slow. How am I gonna take these big guys out? They already do so much damage when I constantly move. So I'm gonna have to see. There's a boss right here. Not many boss. Fire, fire, fire! I'm actually freezing him. Okay. Okay, another level of time warp. Now I've got 30% decreased cooldown. Overall. But again, I can not do anything against these guys. Right, there we go. Okay, so they do die pretty quickly, but I have to actually aim straight at him. More projectiles by 5. Do I start hitting anything? Listen, you're taking damage again. I have no idea where from because I'm not close to anything. It might again be a hitbox or that animation thing that really needs to be fixed. Yeah, like that. Was not even close to anything. Okay, send so for the wave of ice. Around you, instantly implying deep freeze. Sounds good. That's an ultimate, so that's something on my right trigger. Nice. We've got an ultimate ability. Let's try it. It doesn't send this guy in deep freeze. What the heck? Just stood there and tanked it and then hit me in the face. The fire storm cooled down by 10%, so now it's 40% faster. Well, it doesn't hit anything, so <laughs> what's the point? Let's see if amplification actually works with us, or does it screw it up and make it even more difficult to hit anything? Let's check the ultimate school now. Increase the radius again, sure. Yeah, again, I took damage there, but I definitely did not actually take damage. Uh, something is a little off. Do let me know in the comments if there's something I'm not noticing or anything like that. Of course, this woman's Moaning is also getting on my nerves. Okay, 
rather just seeing myself get hit. And since the, the health bar is all the way down and not over the character, it's difficult to see when I'm close to dying. Like this, I'm taking damage again from almost nothing. Take damage from the small guys by walking into them, but the other guys that take damage uh, from animations that don't line up. This is, yeah, this is going to be my worst run so far. Let's go to the main menu. I think I have come to my verdict. Death Tide Survivors. This has been a let's give it a go. Controls. Amazing. With the controller, there's not, no other game better than that. The gameplay, very, very fun. Everything so far looks pretty good. The only thing that I have complained about, again, is either the hitbox that doesn't work or the animations that make you take damage when you shouldn't uh, because uh, if the animation was instant you would have taken damage but by the looks of the animation it takes some time for him to hit you by that time you're long gone but it's, you still take that damage if you understand what i mean <laughs> so and that's a little cheap um, because uh, when you look at an animation you can dodge the animation but you cannot dodge an animation that you cannot see so that's a little iffy so either fix the animation timing or the hitbox or just a clearer way to see also to where you take damage would be nice um because as i said the only thing that i can go by at the moment is the woman's moans and you get sick by sick of that very quickly and even that Sometimes I have to wonder where did I just take damage? What what's going on? Did the little guys hit me? Did some guy shoot me from afar? What exactly happened? So that's uh, the only complaints I have so far. Further, other than that, for a demo, this is excellent. I'm definitely going to play more of this uh, uh, after the recording, so you can give this my big thumbs up, and I'm definitely going to add this to my wish list. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And see you guys in tomorrow's Let's Give It A Go. Goodbye.